evening, he told deputies over and over again he could not breathe. But the jailers he struggled against taunted him right up until his death. An exclusive News Channel 5 investigation is raising questions about the way William Jeanette died. Our investigative reporter Ben Hall obtained exclusive video, and we do need to warn you, parts are disturbing. Three Marshall County jailers called for police backup in May of last year after William Jeanette refused to get into a restraint chair. Where are you? Where are you? Where? When Lewisburg police officer Christopher Stallings Where? runs into the room, Jeanette yells that corrections officers are Where? trying to kill him. <laughs> they quickly get Jeanette to the floor, where he will die minutes later. It just breaks my heart because he was someone worth knowing, you know? His daughter, Dominique Jeanette, says her 48-year-old father was terrified and desperately needed help. And that's just something that really sticks with me, of how scared he must have been and how alone he must have felt. Jail logs show Jeanette had been hallucinating and detoxing after being arrested two days earlier for resisting arrest, public intoxication, and indecent exposure. Officers had put him in a restraint chair the day before because he was hitting his head on the cell wall. But on May 6th, officers tried again. As you see on these jail cameras with no sound, things escalated quickly. They should have been more aware. They should have been trained properly, and they weren't. Dominique is suing Marshall County and the Lewisburg Police Department because of what happened after her father was on the ground. Stay down, you stupid son of a With other officers now around him, Jeanette is face down on the floor in handcuffs. Get off! Get off! Despite his screams, officers put pressure on his back and then call for leg restraints. Oh, Go get your leg restraints. Before you do anything else, get leg restraints. Seconds later, Jeanette says for the first time that he can't breathe. Listen to what a female officer says back to him. <laughs> officers stay on his back and even bend his legs to his back. Until finally, one officer says, be careful of suffocating it. Hey, easy, easy. Remember, it's fictional sex fixation, guys. Got it. That's why I'm not on his lungs. Let him breathe. Jeanette's last words are, I'm good. But an officer with his knee on Jeanette's back talked back to him. Oh, you ain't good. You gonna lay right there for a minute. That's the exact opposite of what this generally accepted police training has taught officers to do for at least the last 25 years. We showed the video to law professor and former police officer Seth Stoughton. He's co-written a book evaluating police uses of force. When the handcuffs come on, they should have rotated the guy to the side. He was disturbed by what he saw and said police departments have been trained since the mid-90s about the dangers of positional asphyxiation suffocating someone by sitting on their back in what's called the prone position. There's approximately a three minute and 43 second period after officers have applied handcuffs where they keep the individual in the prone position and that's not acceptable. Like all that he wanted was help and all that he got was hate. Like it's not right. Jeanette's daughters remember him as a father of five who drove a cement truck to support them. He'd been arrested before, but did not have a long rap sheet. There were so many people that could have just said this isn't right, and no one said that this wasn't right. The autopsy lists the cause of death as acute combined drug intoxication with meth in his system. But it also listed asphyxia as a contributory cause of death and ruled it a homicide. It just feels like my heart is constantly being ripped out of my chest, um, and there's no... There's no peace to that. This family hopes other departments learned from what happened to their dad. He's not there, like, to take me home anymore. A grand jury looked at this case but decided not to bring criminal charges against the officers. We asked the sheriff and the attorney for the county for a comment, but they declined. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, investigates. Thank you, Ben. For full transparency and to give you the complete picture of what happened, we have posted the entire video on our website. Just go to the investigate section of newschannel5.com.